Hi guys, I'm just doing a quick video on a firing pin breach face issue. Uh, well, it's not really an issue, but um, th that's the whole point of the video. Uh, so basically when I was at the range, uh, one of the more experienced guys there uh, who has been reloading for many, many years, uh, he picked up uh, one of my casings and he noticed the uh, primer impression and he was questioning it basically um, didn't look right to him and so then we looked at the uh, breech face and there's this clearly this cut out here uh, which I hadn't noticed until he brought it up I mean most people wouldn't really look for that but anyway so uh, I started searching online and I saw many different posts about this and I didn't see anything too conclusive I mean a lot of people gave their impression but uh, nothing from uh, directly from Smith & Wesson. So I sent them this email and you can see here that I'm basically asking, uh, just, just asking, you know, I want to ensure this is not a defect. Um, and I sent some pictures in and the response was that, you know, indeed it, it is not a defect. It's supposed to be that way. Uh, and it's actually by design and uh, it redirects the gases um, and it prevents the brass from being drawn into the firing pin hole. Uh, so just wanted to put this to rest if you have a shield and you notice this and Somebody tells you that there's an issue or you were just kind of wondering uh, Don't worry about it. Everything's good and uh, That's it. Hope this helps someone if so, please like the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel I appreciate it and thanks for watching. Take care